Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. For everyone who's been asking how uh, Art and I have been doing in our recovery from COVID-19, um, I appreciate your thoughts. You know, every day I think, oh, I think, I think there was a little corner turn today and some days that's actually true and some days that's not. And, uh, you know, people have described the fatigue that goes along with this, but you know, fatigue that's kind of, oh, I feel a little tired, is, is really different. This is like a fatigue that comes with intensity. It, it's, I wish I could just describe it, but it's just a sort of a, a full body kind of thing of, of just, it's not painful, but it is just overpowering. So that's, that's what I'm uh, at least dealing with. But <clears throat> a month ago, um, when we started this, I certainly wouldn't have expected to be here. But I did have one thing on Sunday that was a, a really wonderful turning point as we were watching um, the service online. <clears throat> For the first time, I was able to sing along um, and I hadn't had the ability to do that. So for me, if you know me, being able to sing along with church music, that's, that's really important. So thanks again for your continued prayers and uh, patience with me. So today we're in the, <coughs> excuse me, we're in the middle of, of Peace Week and I have a prayer for world peace. It was written in 1978. It's part of a collection of prayers for peace and justice that is online at Xavier University. Some really wonderful prayers and this one for today is uh, the author is unknown. We pray for the power to be gentle, the strength to be forgiving, the patience to be understanding, and the endurance to accept the consequences of holding on to what we believe is right. May we put our trust in the power of good to overcome evil, and the power of love to overcome hatred. May we trust in that power. We pray for the vision to see and the faith to believe in a world emancipated from violence. A new world where fear shall no longer lead men or women to commit injustice, nor selfishness make them to bring suffering to others. Help us to devote <clears throat> our whole life and thought and energy to the task of making peace, praying always for the inspiration and the power to fulfill the destiny for which we and all men and women were created. Amen. Have a grateful week.